Hey guys, Grady here. So, coming on to cam today, because I know it's been a while. Um, just on cam, taking a walk, as usual. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, just thought I'd come on cam. It's been a relaxing day so far. It's not warm, but it's not cold either. It's kind of like in the middle. But I'm still wearing my coats, just in case. As you guys all know, the weather can change suddenly. There are the woods over that way. But, um, I want to talk about something of vital importance today. Today I want to talk about basic um, human rights, essentially. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Trump is great. And I'm like, yeah, if you call him wanting to get rid of abortion clinics great, then, then yeah, I mean, that's, that is great. But I don't think that that's great because I know that that's wrong. You can't tell a woman that she can't have an abortion. She can do whatever she damn well pleases. It's her body. It's her decision. It's not your body. It's not your decision. You old white men who are Trump supporters, you're the reason women don't have rights. You are the reason they don't. Because you guys all just love Trump. Guys, he's not doing anything to benefit anybody. Oh, what? The things he's doing for the economy? Because that only positively affects like very few people most of us are not positively affected by that most of us are negatively affected by that you guys just you just don't care because you got what you wanted if you ask me that's very selfish and heartless and cruel to think like that um but guys it's like you know, that's the reason. I am pro-abortion. And I am pro-birth control to the fullest extent. Completely pro-abortion and pro-birth control. And I don't know why people are bothered by either of those, but really, they should not, they should not be bothered by that. You really think that people should keep having babies the natural, really? I mean, like, I can understand, you know, why, but in all actuality, there's really no need for more babies to be born. There isn't. Look at how many humans we've got. If you exclude rodents, fish, insects, and arachnids, we are the most populated creature on the planet. Severely overpopulated. You know, and... That's a problem for me. You know, when we have, when you have an overabundance of one species, things tend to go wrong. So, you know, as long as, you know, people say they want to stop hunger for children, okay, then for the love of Pete, stop having babies and that hunger will gradually decrease. If you want children, adopt them. Give birth control availability to every person in the world. Because that's the way it should be. It's not a privilege. That is a right. That is a right. If you're going to give birth control to your dog, why, why should it be any different for a human, huh? Why is a dog allowed to have birth control, but a human, really? Really? Hmm. Seems a bit weird to me that we actually class endangered species as well as other species that low on the scale, but we like don't care if we infect the planet, which we already have. But it, you know, I'm not against abortion. If you are, then, well, that's a huge problem for me. I have no idea why you're against abortion, but you, you don't care, you know, about women if you're against abortions, you know? 
I mean, people say, well, but that's not giving life to somebody who could make a better difference in this world. Yeah, but also if a woman gets raped, she should be forced to keep her baby. Really? You want that message to be spread to your daughter? Oh, if you get raped and, you know, you get pregnant, you have to keep the baby. Really? Do you want that for your daughter? If you do, you're a horrible, horrible person. You can't be going around, you know, doing stuff like that. It's not cool. It's really depressing. Here's a fence. Some trees. Guys, it's really depressing. I don't want this for our world, okay? You know? You should not be put, um, protesting to get abortion clinics shut down because you're just, you know, you guys say, oh, well, we're so concerned about overpopulations of species. No species except human beings is overpopulated. You have to realize that none of the others are. Those are all healthy, stable populations of all the other species. It's when humans repeatedly breed and breed and breed. There's an old saying that says breeding like rabbits. Well, we breed faster than rabbits, I swear. And it's, you know, it's, it's depressing and it's upsetting, but you don't have... All right, I'll be back. Hold on. Anyways, guys, as I was saying, you know, when humans breed like mad, that's when, you know, species become underpopulated or wiped out from certain areas. For example, I live in the state of Colorado in the country below Canada. We used to have a very healthy population of wolves and grizzly bears, but over the years they've all been killed off. Wolves are starting to come back, thank goodness. They are, I wouldn't necessarily say there's a stable population, but they're starting to come back. You know, maybe if we didn't, maybe if we hadn't killed off the wolves, there wouldn't be larger amounts of deer and elk. Sure, we've got the mountain lion to prey on them, but I mean, that's, that's really it. We don't have many other animals that can prey on the deer and the elk. Well, the bears out here could, but they're black bears. Most of their diet is plant-based. Not all of it, but most of it. But still, guys, humans are severely overpopulated, but the solution is not to kill people. We can't kill, you know? We can't kill people. We just can't do that. That's wrong. The solution is to educate, make people aware, and just say, you know, please support birth control rights and a woman's right to have an abortion. You know, that's why I say that I, I don't want that type of future where you guys are saying, oh, get rid of the abortion clinics. A woman can't, you know, say what has to be done about her baby. It's a male's decision because males are in power. No, I don't want that future. I see, I see a better, I see a better world. Okay, I do. I see a much better world ahead. But you guys don't, and I don't know why. I don't know why this doesn't bother you. It doesn't even bother some women. It's like, really? You know, they don't care. Come on, come on. That their rights are being, you know, messed with. That's, guys, that's depressing and sad. It is. It's pretty depressing and pretty sad. You know, people need, you know. No, I'm not gonna tell my wife she can't have an abortion because I'm not an idiot. It's not my body. I have no reason to say anything either way in what happens. Not that I'd ever marry a woman because I'm gay, but you know, still, it's very disrespectful and horribly sexist. That's. That's just something that needs to stop. It needs to fucking stop. And while Trump is in office, 
the chances of it stopping get lower and lower. The chances of it to keep happening are higher and higher and higher. And that's really what depresses me. But you guys, you don't fucking care. I don't know why, but you, ju you just don't fucking care. There's a huge issue with that. There's a real big problem with that. Real big problem with that. You guys need to show more respect, but you don't. You don't. You know, I haven't gained anything from Trump you know, being in the White House? I haven't. I haven't gained one thing from him being in the White House. Not one. Not one. Because I haven't seen him really do or say anything that I can agree with. Well, okay, that's not entirely true. He did say, in these exact words, we live in a very violent world, and yes, that is true, but it's not, you know, it's not like he's doing anything to stop the violence. Because, I mean, he's not. He's not, you know. He's not, which is sad. You know, he should be doing that. He should be caring about us enough to do that, but he doesn't. I don't, I don't even think he cares about his own wife and children. If there is somebody who I feel sorry for, it is his wife, because I don't know what's really, you know, going on there. And... I don't feel completely sorry for her, but it's like, you know, if I had to guess if Trump was treating her well, I'd say no, that he isn't. But I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't really know on that one because it's, you know, I'm not in the White House, obviously. So I really, I really don't know. Come on, boy. Come on. Nope. Over this way. So I really have no idea what what that's about but I don't think that Trump is doing right by his family he's definitely not doing right by our country but you know no president is perfect and no president should ever be considered a god definitely not Trump he is the worst president that we've ever had you know and you guys you guys are saying, you know, oh, well, Trump's not going anywhere, really? Cohen, Trump's lawyer, is going to prison. He's going to prison. If Cohen is going to prison, you know, and Cohen admitted that what all that's going on is caused by Trump, um, that all that he's doing was appointed to him by Donald Trump, then that's, that's a big problem. That means that he's admitting, you know, yeah, Trump is doing is wanting me to do all this stuff and you know. So he's going to prison and I think that's the direction that Trump is heading to. I really do. I really think that. I mean, I don't Gee, Robert. Bad dog. Gosh, don't do that. Um, you know what? I don't necessarily want Trump to like you know, I don't want him to get hurt if he's in prison. Like, I don't want people to, like, try and kill him because that's just, you know... And that's that's another issue I have, too. You guys know that I don't like Trump, but, like, I'm not going to be violent towards him. I'm not. You know, and if that bothers you guys, then that's your fault. But I'm not going to be violent towards him or wish him violent thoughts or wish him ill fate or death. That's just childish and stupid. You know, and you people think it's so funny, oh, I'm going to call the White House, threaten to kill the president. That's childish, too. And that's actually illegal. It's not that you can get in trouble for it. It's that you will. And it's it's not cool to freaking do that. I'm not going to be violent towards him. I'm not going to be violent to any of you Trump supporters. There's no need to be that way because that's exactly what Trump wants us to do. He wants us to be violent towards each other. He wants us to turn against each other. He wants to divide us, which he's, I, if I must say, if there is one thing at which he's doing a great job, it is dividing us and tearing us all apart as a nation. 
I think he's doing a fantastic, I know, I don't think, I know he's doing a fantastic job with that. Proof is right there, you guys. And this isn't just the Republicans, nor is it just the Democrats, it's both. And it's also all the people who aren't Republican or Democrat who are either non-voters or are in the Green Party or are Libertarian, Socialist, Communist, whatever, you know? It's, it's all them. They, you guys really need to quit being hateful to each other and abusive because that's not going to help solve the problem, okay? We've got to come together. We need to stay united. Aren't we the United States? I don't see us. I don't see the United States. I see the divided states. The horribly, horribly, violently divided states. That's what I see. It's really sad that that is what has happened. It's really frickin' sad. Because I, I never thought, you know, things would have gotten this bad, but then again, now knowing everything I know now being only 20 years old. Am I surprised? No. No. But I just... It's really sad that that's what's happened to this country. You know? We're a country founded off of illegal immigrants and founded by illegal immigrants, and yet we're so fucking concerned about illegal immigration. And, you know, and people, all they do is they whine if they don't have freedom. Well... If freedom is at the expense of other people's lives, which it was and still is, even after 526 motherfucking years, it still is um, killing people, then if that's the way it is, I don't want anything to do with that, because that's horrible. That's not, what, that's not how we should obtain our freedom. That's not, that is not an appropriate or socially acceptable way to go about doing that. But it is how we do it, and it's sad. It, I'm, I'm not saying it's just us, though. Because, you know, it's not. It's not just us. There are tons of other countries that are, you know, like that as well. Tons of them. You know, as many problems as we do have, I can't say that... You know, we're the only country doing this. I mean, I can't, that, that's ridiculous. There are tons of other countries doing it. And it's, it is really sad. It's really sad. But you guys, you just don't care. Because all you care about is your gosh damned murderous fucking fucked up freedom. That's what really makes me sad. You guys don't care that it cost millions of innocent people their lives. It wiped out entire tribes of real Americans. That's fucking horrible. That is why I just don't care about freedom. I'm not saying I'm pro-dictatorship, because I'm not, but I'm not pro-freedom. If that bothers you, then okay, so you're bothered by that. I don't care. If that offends you, then okay, that offends you. I don't care. If you're offended by that, then I'm sorry you are offended by people who are trying to stop racism and people who are trying to stop abuse. I'm sorry that you're offended by that and that you can't see how it's wrong. But I'm not saying that all the people who are like that are Trump supporters either. They're not. They aren't. They aren't. You know what I mean? Trump is only the president of the United States. He's not, you know... There are many other countries in this world, many, many other countries, and Trump is, you know, he's not doing good things for them, but it's not like, you know, he's not the, the leader of these other countries. They all have their own leaders, and, but, you know, I can't, I just can't believe that people are still supporting Trump. They know that these things are morally unacceptable, but they're like, well, you know, that's the guy that I wanted in there, and I'm happy that he's in there, and. You know, and they're, they're like, I'm, I mean, I'm not really following the news anymore. Really? You should. Everybody should be paying attention to this. We've got a real problem here. This is a real, real problem, and it's a really serious issue. You know? It's so sad. 
it's really really sad but you 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 just don't care i i still have no idea why but you just don't give a fucking shit what's the matter with you people you really think that's the appropriate message to be sending to our children really guys that's sad that's sad you know I mean, I don't get why you guys are all so concerned about illegal immigration when, I mean, are you not a descendant of, you know, illegal immigrants? Are you fully Native American? Because if you are, then yeah, I'll give you every right to bitch, whine, and moan about illegal immigration. But if you are white, even in the slightest bit, unless you do have Native American blood in you, I recommend just shutting the fuck up. Because it's a big lie we've been telling to the world for years, you know, years, h hundreds of years. That's not fucking cool. That is not fucking cool. You've got to be joking. I'm an illegal immigrant, so I was born here. So what? That doesn't, that doesn't mean a fucking thing. Okay, I was born here. Okay, what's your point? I was born here. What? That doesn't mean a damn thing. Look at my skin. Look at my skin. Do you see do you see brown on my skin? No, cuz I'm not brown. I am white. I am an illegal immigrant foreigner. If you have a problem with that then, you know, unless you're Native American, then I recommend you just leave cuz that's I'm not bothered by illegal immigration. I'm not. I, I, I'm really not. I don't care. You know, if we're a nation founded off of illegal immigrants, we really shouldn't care if we have more in this country because that's all that we are and that's all we're ever going to amount to be. That's, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. Get over it. Get, get the fuck over it. You can't get over it. You guys, you all just sit there and act like a bunch of crybabies. All them damn Mexicans are trying to get into our country illegally. All those people from other countries in the world trying to get in here illegally. You're an idiot. Your ancestors came over here illegally. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You're a descendant of an illegal of illegal immigrant foreigners, which by those standards makes you an illegal immigrant foreigner. So I really do not want to hear you guys ever talk about getting rid of immigrants unless you are considering leaving yourself. You know, and another thing too, people say that, you know, if you can't vote, that you shouldn't say anything. Okay, well, certain members of certain people's families are, were not born here. They are not, no one is really here legally, like I just explained. I don't care what the system says, the system was set up by illegal immigrant foreigners, but, you know, I just, I don't understand why um, they say that they can't say anything, because my dad is not from here, and he can say whatever the hell he wants. He is a member of my family, and because of that, he has every right to say something. Even if he weren't a member of my family, he's still living here. And even if he weren't living here, he still has a right to say something. You've got to be joking. You've got to be fucking joking if you think that they can't. Really? Oh yeah, they can. They can speak up all they damn well please. All they damn well please. Shouldn't matter. Okay, we shouldn't be putting one race or group of people over another. It's very selfish. And that's racism in all forms. Doesn't matter the skin color, but that's just racism. And I'm, you know, that's something that needs to stop. But it's not, guys, this isn't, racism is, Trump did not make us a racist country. He didn't. I mean, he didn't. He's adding more to it, but he didn't, you know, racism was here long, long, long before Trump was even born. I mean, at the time when Trump would have been born, that would have been like, what? Segregation? That's racism right there. 
That's horrible racism. And it, you know, Trump, has, Trump, you know, yeah, he's horribly racist, but that doesn't mean that he's the one who caused every bit of racism in this country. You know, yeah, he's adding more to it. He's saying, oh, get, get all non-white people out of here. And it's like, dude, shut up, because that is racist. And we, we shouldn't be tolerating that as a nation. None of us should be. But his supporters, they just don't care. And it's, you know, that's, that's horrible. That's really messed up. I don't want my kids to grow up living in a country like that. I'm, I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to allow my, kin my kids to grow up in a country that is that is welcoming racism with open arms and that doesn't care about its children or any children for that matter. Guys, there are children who are dying at the border wall. And you guys are like, oh yay, good, Trump's building his border wall. Those children don't matter. What the fuck is wrong with you? What if that was your child? You guys can say, oh, it's not, doesn't matter. What if it was? You, 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 the majority of you are probably they're just like, eh. oh well, my child died. You wouldn't give a fucking shit if it was your own child. Some of you, I'm sure, would. Most of you would, but some of you would just be like, eh, whatever. That's horrible. That is child abuse. You've got to be fucking kidding me if you think I'm going to support Trump's wall. You've got to be fucking joking. I don't support his wall. I don't support anything that crazy fucker does, because he's, he's just a crazy fuck, and he needs to be revoked and put in prison immediately, because this is a really serious problem. And you people backing him, you people are not fucking helping. You're making, you're literally making everything worse. But at the same time, it's not just you Trump supporters who are doing this. There are tons of people who are like you guys. They don't necessarily like Trump, but they are, they think the same things as you guys like, you know, well, fuck gun control or fuck abortion rights. You know, it's horrible things, but it's, it's not just you Trump supporters. So I will say that. I will say it's not all your guys' fault and it's not all Trump's fault. You know, he's not helping to stop these problems, but it's not like he's the one who originally caused them. Because he, di he didn't frickin' cause the problems originally. That's a joke to say that. You know, it is. It's a big joke. But you guys, t I don't know why you guys don't care, but you just don't. You really don't give a fucking shit. And I'm not sure why. I'm bothered by that. You aren't. Uh, you know, you're all a bunch of crazy people. You need to really get a better education and learn about what basic human rights are because Trump is violating all of those by doing what he's doing. He doesn't care about human rights or animal rights, and I care about both. But, you know, I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say that we need to go around killing people to stop the overpopulation of humans. What we need to do is educate others, and we need to give we, us as a nation, a nation that's supposed to be leading a good example for the world, needs to be giving birth control to people in all countries throughout the world, not giving it to them, like not forcing them to have it, but giving them that access. Anyways, guys, I would love to stay on cam, but I got to go. So you all have a relaxing day, all right? I mean that. And listen when people talk, because you'll learn something new. You might just change your mind. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Best of holidays. Wishes to you. Bye.